Welcome back to our playthrough of Fantasy Star 4. At the end of our last chapter, we had just recruited Rika, who had come out of the Birth Valley, uh, come out of the Birth Valley cave, which w and we had encountered a supercomputer uh, named Seed that had built her. She is level one, and she's probably going to level up an awful lot. But what we've decided at the end of the last battle, and we can talk to our team, we've got to hurry and stop the system that's running out of control, for Seed's sake too. First we'll have to rescue this android called Demi. We'll have to go to Zeo's for it, just what we all wanted to do. You're talking about that castle beyond the quicksand that can be seen from the village of Mile? I guess we'll have to go around from the north. So, around from the north, is actually going to take us back home. No! Oh, what's that? There's a town here? Nalia? I don't even remember you existing. This is the town of Nalia, but I don't think it's inhabitable anymore. Inha this is the town of Nalia, but I don't think it's inhabitable anymore. What happened to Nalia? Is it that meteor? This place was our home. Oh well, it may just... It may be that just coming out of it alive was a miracle. This town may be doomed. It may be a smart idea to relocate as soon as possible to somewhere like Adio. About three months ago, a large meteorite fell just outside of town. And look what happened. What in the world would we do to deserve this? And there's our meteorite right here. Oh, we can go into it. Oh. This looks future. Let's, let's just get to our town of Adio. And I'm sure we can do come back and explore. Look at this big town. This is Adio, a fluid town. All kinds of things flow in and out from all over the place. Why, if it isn't Alice, welcome home. And this is Chaz and Alice's hometown. And if we go over here... Ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the rest of the day? Sure, let's have a rest. Alright, let's be up bright and early tomorrow morning. So... Adio is a fun little town. This is my own cabinet, so I can open it freely. Let me see what's in it. There's a bunch of underwear in here. Oh, Chaz, you lovable dork. Al. Al, 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 al. Alice's cabinet. What are you studying for? So... If I remember things correctly, the market here is actually pretty good. We have a weapons market. Oh, this is not what I remember. Hmm, you call that a market? There's nothing that would be of use there. Welcome to the weapons store. What do you need? Buy? So this is home to... the ceramic equipment is very good. So I believe this is like the... So many things that catch my eye, but even the best weapon is wasted unless it's used by skilled hands. So I believe... This is like the bounty hunter area of town. And there's a big market in the middle... That sells weapons. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff we can buy here. So that's the Titan. Yeah, so you're going to be even worse. So if memory serves me correctly, I want to go shop at that Bounty Hunter store. Oof, I bought so much stuff it's hard to carry everything. But this is a fairly big market. Look at all this stuff that's for sale here. We don't have to go all over town to find stuff. You can pretty much find everything here. I'm going to guess this is the inn. Why would I stay in an inn when I have a house? 
We traveled all the way here to shop at the market, but we used up all our money with travel expenses. Actually, we don't have money to pay for our rooms, but we haven't been able to admit it and have kept on staying. What, what shall we do? Say, why don't we climb out the window during the night? I hope you ladies are okay. So we're going to spend all our money. And the question is, are we going to spend all our money on a sword? Or are we going to spend all our money on the armor store? Because this is the best gear we can buy right now. This is ceramic stuff. This is our best mail. I think I'm going to... Oh, I'm debating. I, I feel like I should buy a sword. Because the sword will also raise my defense. No, like, sword will barely raise my defense. We need to sell some stuff. Let's sell this Titan Sword. Make our money back. Oh, that's right. Remember, when I think something's a lot of money, it actually turns out it is a lot of money. Hey there, how dare you bump into me and pass without a word? Oh, it's you, Alice. Oh dear, please excuse my rudeness. They all fear and respect Alice. So what is this? Zeo. I don't know who hired you, but don't even think about it. Even if you had an infinite number of lives, it wouldn't be enough. This town is relatively peaceful thanks to us. I hear that other towns are plagued with disasters. In one case, an entire town burnt to the ground. It's been said this is all Zeo's doing. I wonder if it's true. I believe this is the Bounty Hill. Bounty Guild, Bounty Hunter Guild Headquarters. This is just between you and me. The cave to the north of Adio leads to the area beyond the hills. No one's ever gone into the cave and come back alive. I wonder what lies beyond that cave. Monsters have recently become extremely strong, making combat with them difficult. I'd better think about starting a new profession soon. Hey Alice, the usual? Sorry, I just don't feel like it today. I'll see you some other time. So, I think I can take on some bounties. Welcome. You have come to the Hunter's Guild, where we enrich the lives of hunters. The enrollment area is over there. For those of you hunters who have already joined, I'd like to give you information about available job listings. These are the listings that are offered. Any applications? So, this is a nice little thing that is in Fantasy Star 4, is you can take on sort of these side quests in addition to the main quests. This is a request from a ranch owner at the village of Mile. The sandworms at my ranch have become so big that I'm at my wit's end. Please help me. That is the message. The fee offered is 5,000 Mesta. Will you take that job? Yeah. That's some new ceramic stuff. In that case, please go to Mile and get the details from the rancher. So. Spoiler warning, that rancher wants us to kill a big sandworm, and that sandworm is ridiculously strong, hits like a truck, and it's quite hard to take down, but it's also worth a ton of experience. Just a little nearer, ah, uh, come on, let's go Chaz. It doesn't take care of all the leveling we'll need to do for Zeo, but it'll take care of a good chunk. Um, I think for now, we should go explore that meteorite. It's something I usually never do. I usually skip the meteorite entirely. But let's see if there's anything there that's actually good for us. Because who knows if I know what's best. Ooh, Locust. Macro, we're just gonna attack it. Oh, not even a thing. Enrica's leveled up. Strength up, HP up, TP up. Rika's gonna level up pretty fast here. Let's drop a save before we go into this meteorite, because anything involving tech creatures absolutely love this music.
I'm so sad I'm gonna get into fights. Oh, so we have robots. Do we just want to attack? Because what are my options here? I don't think I, ha I have crash. You, you have nothing. You are literally just here to attack. Vortex times where I'm scared. So we're going to be a little aggressive. What skills do you have? You have illusion. I believe that's one way to beat the beat the sandworm is you can sort of stack illusions on Rika. Illusions basically increases your dodging ability. Um, and we can use that to essentially become unhittable. Uh, after a while, I think I've seen a speedrun do that. Um, do I have uh, the ability to get out of here easily? Because I am worried I'm going to get in here too far. Alright, I have an escape pipe. So, even if I don't have the tech on Chaz, I believe Hinas is the escape as well. All right, whistles. We're just gonna attack you. See how that works. Twelve is not terrible. That ceramic sword is paying dividends right now. I'm surprised Rika didn't get a level. I love this freaking music. Go away, surprise encounters. So this stuff isn't terribly scary yet. Learn to double slash. Double slash is just a melee technique. I don't even know where I'm going in here. I'm so stre- Oh, treasure chest. Let me know if it was worth it to come in here. Diamat. That is a stronger potion. Ooh, Grizz. Taking a pounding. Um, how do we want to do this? Uh, I wouldn't mind you dropping a heal. I also believe Rika starts getting pretty fast and she ends up being the fastest member of the party. Yeah, she's level 4 and she's already going ahead of everyone, but I guess level 4 is not that far away? Also, she might actually be faster. So die mate is not oh my god, you and your random encounters. Ooh. Alright, we better get Chaz healed. No, Chaz. Oh wow. Oh, nice, Grizz leveled up. We'll take that. We're also going to use up some of Rika's MP. Nice, Grizz has 93 HP. He's getting closer and closer to being a viable tank, which is, you know, what we'd love for him to be. Making ourselves stronger for that sandworm fight. That terrifying sandworm fight. Oh my god, we're out here in like the super tech area. Like I said, I've never really explored this. Whoa. Han almost went down in one hit. Oh man, guys, come on. Grizz. Let's see who's actually faster. Alright, so Alice is still the fastest person on this team. Then it's Riku. Wow, Riku didn't finish the job. Wow, these guys are pretty dodgy. So, we are gonna heal up here. 
We're gonna run Core Riku. Rika. Riku. Why do I call her Riku? This is an FF10. We're gonna run Poor Rika out of MP. We do get to listen to more of that sweet ass music. Oh, good. Treasure chest. Ceramic knife. Do, 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 do. I mean, yay, Han has knives. That helps our melee only loser attack better. So, do we want to go left or right? Left? Right. Uh, let's go right. We chose to go right. Alright, we got more Warrens. See, I don't even know what the end of this is. Do I want to hit a crosscut? Why not? No, I don't need to waste them. You actually hit pretty hard. Get a wad out there. Will the Vortex take one of these down? No. Oh. Yeah, you need to be hitting Sue's on these guys. But, uh. Whoa. Get out of here, memory cursor. Wow! Guys. Nice, we got Chaz to level up. Bastard Ryuka. Now Ryuka. Oh. We're getting close to the I need to get out of here part of the game. Ryuka is like a warp spell. So we have an exit spell on Chaz, and we have a warp spell. That's going to significantly uh, increase the speed of which we get around. Oh, these are getting some pretty big heals out of you guys. Through a door. Doors are always good. Through another door. Uh, these seem newer and scarier. You, I, I'd really love for you to get like a... Seventeen, okay. Scarier, not terrifying. Great, okay, yep, see. That crosscut's gonna kill you no matter what. I have this this need, this want to keep exploring. But I also have this fear of like, I don't know where I'm going. Nice, Rika's already level six. As long as I have Res is though, like, should be fine to keep going. Oh, uh, another door. Another door. Are we coming to a logical end? What the? Whoa, whoa. This is. There's flights flashing. I know what it is. Move over, Chaz. Wow, pretty impressive. It's a pretty hard security code to break, but there. We can now access the main computer's memory. What's this? Look, it says that this is a spaceship that escaped from Parma a thousand years ago. What? Really? But Parma exploded a thousand years ago. Oh, you know about that. Yes, I learned about it at the Academy. Parma. The first planet of the Algol solar system was destroyed in AW1284 when the artificial satellite Garia crashed into it. Today, the only vestige of Parma is in the asteroid belt. But there were people that were able to escape? 
According to the records, just before the explosion, some people were able to escape. This spaceship was damaged and became trapped in orbit around Motavia. They floated around in space until all the humans aboard died, but the computer was able to sustain itself and its self-repairing mechanisms. They all... died? According to the flight chart, the orbit slowly decayed over the last thousand years. The ship finally crashed here. Then, that means all the Parmians perished? Wait, this is not the only ship that escaped from Parma. It seems that other similar ships were able to escape successfully. Most of them landed on either Motavia or Desolus, but it looks like some of them went right out of the Ugal solar system. I can't get an accurate number, but it looks like some of the tens of ships. Look at this ship. I mean, it's pretty cool. You got little self-sustained life pods in there. So they're still continuing their flight somewhere in the universe. This must be a spaceship that escaped Parma. All right. Well, we've actually explored that. So I do not know much of my Fantasy Star history. Uh, but from what I recall, um, this is actually the fourth game in the series. So I think what we're getting there is a little like tie-in to the other games. Because I believe there was an explosion or some of the other planets died in the solar system. Anyway, we have made some good headway tonight. I didn't think we'd finish that meteor, but we did. I'm kind of stoked for that. Uh, I think next time we get a play through here, we'll go do that sandworm and probably get our butts kicked. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.